Osteoporosis is actually a pretty common uh, disease. In fact, worldwide, about one out of three, three women and one out of five guys will receive uh, some type of osteoporosis fracture after, the age, after they reach the age of 50. Now, in this video, you're going to discover some of the most common symptoms of it, as well as some really simple and easy ideas that you can do to prevent this whole health problem. Now, before I begin, down below, I'm giving away a free video-based guide all about uh, dietary supplements as well as alternative medicines. Now, I'm sure you realize that without bones, people would pretty much turn into goo, like the Wicked Witch of the Wizard of Oz, and sort of just melt away. And uh, now, apart from supporting the whole structure, bones do things like protect your brain, and they like store minerals, make blood cells, even store energy. Um, also, just like how skin cells constantly die and they're reborn again, bones are the kind of the same way. Now, with someone has osteoporosis, instead of bone cells being reborn again, you know what happens is they they bone cells die, they're not replaced fast enough, and this results in, in bones being less dense, more fragile. And here's a question for you. See if you can get this. Can you, can you name the biggest danger when it comes to having just fragile bones? Yeah, you're probably thinking like a fracture, right? But where? Where? Well, it's actually the hip. Uh, getting a hip fracture is really the biggest risk, and uh, women are much more at risk than, than guys. In fact, around one in six women will actually pass away due to a hip fracture with osteoporosis. So it's that deadly. And what's even worse is women that don't pass away, say they live after getting it, well according to Kaiser Permanente, that they're five times more likely to die within the next year due to it. And you might be thinking, well, why? What's so bad about a hip fracture? Well, the biggest risk is that obviously the surgery, there's a lot of risk to that, but also you're, someone's bedridden. They can't really move. And this really just increases the chances of a lot more health problems and ailments. So that's why it's so bad. Now, more bad news is that osteoporosis is sort of like a silent killer, almost like high blood pressure. That means there's, there's not that many symptoms. It can kind of silently come up on you and just strike a cancer. That's another silent killer. And uh, really do a lot of damage before someone even knows it's there. Now, early on, osteoporosis doesn't have any symptoms. Um, but as the disease worsens, there's going to be some warning signs. And the biggest one is pain. The pain might be in the lower back, also in the neck area. Uh, later, the, the pain can kind of spread to other areas. And uh, the pain might be worse if someone puts a lot of weight on that area. Now, a second sign uh, that can indicate in osteoporosis is somebody can start to experience fractures and not remember how they got the fracture. Just all of a sudden they have a broken wrist and I'm like, I don't know how I got the broken wrist. Now the best way to really detect osteoporosis is with, of course, regular checkups. Not only can you catch this problem, but so many other problems and just defeat the problem before it gets worse. Now let me ask you another question. Let me see if you can get this. What do you think is the number one thing someone should do to prevent osteoporosis? You might be thinking of something like calcium, right? Well, it actually really comes down to ensuring a person gets all the, the vitamins and, and minerals and nutrients that their body needs. And calcium definitely is there, but you also got to remember that there's, there's things like vitamin T, D that plays a big role with bone health, as well as vitamin C and even K, which, you, which might surprise people. Now, of course, yeah, you can get, someone can get all this stuff through food, but <laughs> the reality is our food, especially in America or a lot of countries, it doesn't have the nutritional qualities it used to. Um, due to farming methods. This is why I highly recommend a, a really good quality multivitamin supplement. Now a second thing that someone can do, which may surprise some people out there, would be to uh, cut back or eliminate uh, sodas. Now a study at Tufts University found that women who consume soda or diet soda just three times a week, that's it, has significantly lower bone density than women who just uh, consume soda occasionally, now and then. So that's a big thing, and uh, my father, he actually used to work in a, like a, 
manufacturing plant that made aluminum cans. And they would, of course, put soda inside them. And what was surprising, he told me that they would actually have to spray the can with some type of a, a mineral or, or a, some type of an ingredient. Because if they didn't spray the inside of the can with this, the soda would eat through the alum aluminum. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. <laughs> so that's just some food for thought there. It may uh, it'd be kind of a bummer for some people out there. But um, you know, if you cut back on a few sodas, they, I'm, I'm sure it's going to help you in a few ways. Also, you know the sodas aren't good for your teeth too. So there you go. Now, if you want to get some more ideas on uh, alternative medicine and supplements, like I mentioned, I do recommend you check out this free video guide I created all about this topic and give you some great killer tips on what to look for in supplements. It really kind of breaks down herbal remedies out there, makes that much simpler. Um, it can definitely help you out because it shares uh, like basically things you want to avoid when it comes to alternative medicine and supplements. So that's really going to be great. Um, plus, it, it's it's a lot of fun. I had a blast making it. Uh, I, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. I <laughs> so if you want to learn more, just click on the link uh, below the video. Also, in case you're wondering if it's going to cost a bunch of money, it's just, it's completely free. So why not? There's no real risk. And uh, so thank you so much for your time. I, I hope that this video might have been helpful. And uh, please leave a comment with any thoughts you may have. I really appreciate your feedback. And if you do like the video, then, uh, you know, give me the thumbs up. Pass the love. You know, I really would appreciate that. And uh, thanks so much, and have a great rest of your day. Bye.